Renewable energy can be used for more than just generating electricity. Solar thermal can also be a viable opportunity to create heat or more likely hot water for residents, such as here on the Adams property. Now I'm standing next to a thousand gallon propane tank. And as many of you know, propane can be an expensive way to both heat your home and heat your water. Solar thermal can offer an opportunity to reduce these costs. What solar thermal does is it collects the strong solar resource that we have here in Wyoming to heat water. Now, in Wyoming, since we often have freezing temperatures, you don't just simply circulate water through a system. How it works is you circulate an organic, non-toxic antifreeze through a system and use it in a heat exchanger. This allows you to heat water, and if there's extra heat in the winter, you could also use some of it to, for space heating. Now, solar thermal panels can be both roof-mounted or ground-mounted. One nice thing about solar thermal is it can be very cost effective, especially when you're heating with something like propane or perhaps another expensive energy source such as electricity. Solar thermal with our uh, solar resource can do a great job heating hot water in the winter. Matter of fact, if you have an improperly designed system, you can end up boiling water in the middle of January just because we get such strong sun here in Wyoming. <clears throat> solar thermal is also eligible for a 30% federal tax credit. So when you bring in this 30% federal tax credit, you can find very reasonable rate of return on installing a solar thermal system. And how it works is you're still going to need your backup system because unless you're willing to take an ice cold shower on a cloudy day in February, you want another way to heat water. But as you do it as an add-on and it re is replacing, in this case, the combustion of propane, you can end up with a payback period in the range of four to seven years. Uh, and that's in addition to having the asset value. So when you go ahead and install a system on your home, well that increases the asset value of your home just as any other renewable energy system does. So solar thermal can be an excellent choice for both space heating and heating hot water here in Wyoming. Another renewable energy option for both heating and cooling a home is geothermal heat pumps. Now a geothermal heat pump uses the ambient temperature of the ground to both heat and cool a home. Now how does this work? If you've ever been in a cave in July, well guess what? It's right around 50, 55 degrees. You go in that same cave in January, guess what? It's around 50 to 55 degrees. Using this temperature gradient and a heat pump, you can concentrate that heat in the winter and heat your home with 120, 130 degree air and also cool your home in the summer. And in addition, you can get hot water off it as well. Now how does a heat pump work? Most people have one in their home. It's simply your refrigerator in this case, if you're heating, working backwards. You're just extracting heat from the ground, concentrating it, and using it to heat your home. Now, geothermal heat pumps can be placed in two manners. One is you can dig a trench at least four feet deep and put piping in the ground. And you circulate a fluid in this. It's closed loop, mind you. You circulate a fluid and it runs to the heat exchanger. Another option is to drill a vertical hole. Now, a nice thing about rural residences, such as the Adamses, is you have a lot of space, so oftentimes you can do the horizontal loop field, which can be much more cost effective. Now, geothermal heat pumps are very efficient. Because you're not burning anything to create heat, you're just transferring it from one source to another. Geothermal heat pumps can have efficiencies in the range of four to six hundred percent. Now, as a comparison, the most efficient natural gas furnaces are 95 to 96 percent efficient. The only energy that you input into a geothermal heat pump is the energy that it takes to run a circulating pump and the heat exchanger. So as you can see, it can be a very cost-effective way to both heat and cool your home, especially when you're comparing it to expensive resources such as propane. If you want to get more information, you can <clears throat> go to barnyardsandbackyards.com and there is an article on there regarding geothermal heat pump. There are many incentives available for geothermal heat pumps. There's a 30% federal tax credit that can help reduce the overall cost. Also, many utilities like geothermal heat pumps because it regulates how you use energy. So many utilities also provide you with a grant when you put in geothermal heat pumps. So be sure to contact your utility when you put in a geothermal heat pump.